I just walked out, it's like 6 o'clock, 6.20. I just walked out here on a Lake Hunter train to all. This used to be my favorite, no doubt. My favorite fishing spot in the world. They put that wall at Seabrook. After they started putting that wall at Seabrook, that's what really killed it. Now, it's really seasonal, like a couple weeks in September, October, you'll catch them. And I'm thinking they should be here now, but you know. All right, I'm about to share one of my secrets now, I guess. Let's see if I can't get the fish on this side. I'll show y'all a little secret, maybe. Hopefully this still stands true. There should be a fish here. Hopefully I don't lose too many this jig here either. I only brought this one jig here. I didn't bring any tapper. Most likely what we're going to catch right here is a bass. But redfish have been known to hang out on this pile of rocks right here. See all these rocks right here that's sticking up? There's rocks all the way underneath and they go out a good ways out that way. And so there's usually some bass sitting on top of these rocks. This water is so filthy dirty. I don't know if they're going to be able to see my lure. I'm going to take like 10 casts here. Ooh. Try not to lose my jig head. Or my jig. So I don't have to walk all the way back to the truck and get a new ride. I'm trying to catch a fish to make this video. I can't make a video without a fish, can I? What is this? Oh, no. Damn it. I think I have enough line to walk all the way across. No, don't do this to me. I'm gonna try one little trick. Alright, oh, that's thoroughly in there. Alright, I guess I wanna pop it. Mm -hmm. What if I got my leader back? All day yesterday I used this on the trestle and popped it like four times and kept getting my damn I tied a good nap this time. I tied a good leader knot. Alright, I'm going to run back to the truck. Alright, back on the other side. All the trash is blown on this side, so maybe all the bait will be blown on this side, right? Yeah, look at that. That's some bait right there. I probably should have grabbed a different lure, but I went back to the car and they had this jig here with a green sparkle beetle on it. So, <laughs> this is what I'm using. Got these rocks right here are brand new. Man, I know where the fish are at. I see it now. After all that, I pulled it straight through. Right, and I'm going back straight back to my spot. Whoa, whoa, look, there are bass in here. Wasted bass. This one, like it just ended up on the ground. I'm gonna keep moving. I'm going all the way back there. That's where I'm going. All right, here's where I discovered sight fish and redfish. Oh, before I even knew what sight fish and redfish was. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, what is this? Is the big catfish? Oh, shit. Damn, this thing blew up on the sparkle beetle. Check this out. Oh, my God. This thing destroyed my sparkle beetle. Oh, yeah. Check that out. We have a catfish. Nice blue cat. But as I was saying, this is where I learned to sight fish for redfish. This used to be a saltwater spot right here. <laughs> Holy shit. This thing destroyed this sparkle beetle. This I call a green sparkle beetle. That's why I love fishing back here. Then he destroyed my leader too. Yeah, he's gonna be dinner. I really thought that was a bass. Holy crap, I thought that was a bass. I 
thought I had a 10 pound bass like two seconds. Actually, I thought I had a redfish at first. Like right when I said redfish, something exploded on this thing. I thought I had a redfish. Then, then I thought I had a bass. I thought I saw it like turn in a circle. And then I thought, uh, uh, <laughs> then I thought I had a, uh, then I realized it was a catfish. That was really explosive. That was the most explosive hit I've ever gotten. Is that another one? 